These young people in Kabul have gathered to watch a concert just like in any other city around the world. But there was a time in recent memory in Afghanistan when music was simply not heard. Not at concert venues and certainly not on TV or radio. All forms of music, apart from religious chanting, were banned under Sharia law imposed by the Taliban during their rule from 1996 to 2001. Now Afghan rappers, DJs and foreign rock singers are coming together for an annual music festival called Sound Central, which is organised by the French Cultural Centre. They hope it will change the old face of the city. Especially young people, they have a lot of interest in adapting um, traditional music, especially with foreign music, and having a new style. It doesn't need to always be traditional. They're tired of traditional. You don't have to completely get rid of it, but you know, just combine it and have something new and fresh. Rock and rap is relatively new in Afghanistan, introduced to the country in recent years by young Afghans who hope the sounds will only grow more popular as time goes by. Rock music is becoming popular in Afghanistan. Most of the young people at the concert today were really patient. They were interested in watching it and they were excited. I am pretty sure that rock music will become more popular in Afghanistan. However, many Afghans, a nation traditionally known as great lovers of music and poetry, now fear a potential return of the music-free dark days of the Taliban with the impending withdrawal of international troops from the country. Ian Smith, BBC News.